Hey! Hey, we got a comment here. Nice, nice, nice. Taranaki, nice. I'm in Wellsford. I'm doing the Wellsford to, um, I'm doing the Wellsford to back to Auckland, back to the North Shore. I've seen a bit of a bit of a tail coming up. So I'm going to do the, uh, do that for you. We're out of signal from out of, out of range on the radio for the uh, for News Talk ZB. So, but I'll I'll play the back quietly. Come into range. This is about where you lose the 89.4. We got some wild wind. The wind is up. The cyclone is coming. The wind has arrived. We're gonna get some. We're gonna get down trees. We're gonna get a hell of a wind. But uh, we'll be hitting traffic as we come in. That's news to all ZB news for that weather. Just have a past six. There's nothing better than reminiscing through our summer in my day with Roman Travis. News to all ZB. Um, I didn't go on the coast to coast today, and I only didn't go on the coast to coast today because, because, well, because I'm too fat, and, and I can't run fast anymore. Welcome along to In My Day, it's with me, Roman Travis, with you through till 12 every Saturday night. And the free phone number is 0800 80 1080. In my head, I can still do the coast to coast. But I have never done it. But I fantasize about being an athlete, and this morning I proved that I'm not by going for a very, very vigorous walk and pulling a calf muscle. I know, tragic. I had to lie down on the top of Mount Eden and uh, recover for a few hours. Good to have your company. It is Saturday the 11th of February. The free phone number 0800 80 1080 9292 is the text which is ZBZB. It has a small charge. And my email address roman at newstalkzb.co.nz. The best of In My Day is on the Facebook page. Roman Travers on Newstalkzb. And for pictures of me lying in the recovery position on top of Mount Eden, you can see those on Instagram. It's not a pretty picture. My producer and fact finder is tired tonight because Hope has taken the day off. She's in the coast to coast. That may not be true. It's really sad to see more deaths this week, but some of our more well-known creative people from around the world. Chariots of Fire director Hugh Hudson died very suddenly today, aged 86, following a short illness. His family's name state that he was the beloved husband and father, and he died at Charing Cross Hospital in London. That was um, very sad and a great movie, by the way. Who remembers that Chariots of Fire? He survived by his wife and his son and his first wife. You know, you know, you've got a whole harem going on there. The actor Nigel Hart, who started in 1981, film about the story of two British runners in the 1920s. He said he was beyond devastated by his death. He added chariots of fire with one of the greatest experiences of my professional life. And like so many others, I owe much of what followed him to his success. So it's 
doing lovely buttons in the brain clip. It's text the actor from the movie. So that guy, by the way, Hugh Hudson, for those who aren't familiar with the director of Chariots of Fun. Another of our great composers died late this week. Arguably one of the greatest composers, Bert Bacharach, whose hits such as 1,200 artists performed his songs, which won six Grammys and three Oscars. Bacharach and his lyricist David had 30 top 40 hits in the 1960s alone. Think of the millions of dollars that would have printed. It was just a David once told an interview, innovate, original. Spoke to me. I'd hear his melodies and I'd hear the lyrics. I'd hear the rhymes. I'd hear thoughts. And I'd hear it almost original. Spoke to me. I'd hear his melodies and I'd hear the lyrics. I'd hear the rhymes. I'd hear thoughts. And I'd hear it almost immediately. For back rack, his talent is simple. He said, I'm a person. I have any bunch of musicians around me all the time. We had the same vibe we were sort of into playing music in the uh, 7th of March when we do uh, five concerts through the country. So uh, we're very hard at it. We're yeah. Hard. Aren't you still a working band? A lot of us, when we think of that big band sound and that classic sound, I always think of those wonderful war movies, the Brule Creek, the uniforms, the dancers, the Glenn Miller Orchestra. Yeah, the all those bands. I mean, you know, like we've played that sort of music. Um, uh, you know, we've always tried to sort of present a whole lot of different styles. So, uh, you know, I've, had, I've sort of done things with Mitch Marston, a great blues artist, and different ones. So, we've, we've always tried to push the envelope a bit, uh, you know, music. So, uh, just to yeah. present different things, yeah. yeah. Now, you're quite the talent. You're not just the man behind the band. You are a leading force. The trombone's a beautiful, beautiful instrument. What, what got you into that in the first place? Uh, well, I actually started out on violin, um, which I managed to out of for about six months later. Uh, I was about six or seven years old. Uh, I perfected hiccups at me, so every time I went to the lesson, I managed to uh, fire up hiccups. Pretty hard to play the violin with hiccups. Uh, and then the, the nuns uh, had the problem. I was sent to uh, sort of some of my parents, and it was like, we don't think what you want to play the violin. So I was moved on the trumpet, uh, corner and trumpet. And then my, my father got a job at Arnold College in Porro as the head of music, and we moved to Wellington and lived in TA Bay. Um, so I, uh, living in that area, uh, I went to Mana College. So the summer before, or the Christmas holidays before I went into uh, go to Mana College, um, I was sort of summoned to the uh, and asked to bring the trumpet, and I brought the trumpet down and I was handed a trombone. Uh, mainly because most of us trombone players had just left school, so I was now the, one of the trombone players for the Mana College band. So, so, uh, so I had six, six weeks over the summer break to learn the trombone to sort of be one of the trombone players for the school, Mana College band. So uh, that sort of really started that out uh, with what I was doing. Uh, that's the reason I hate trombone. Um, it really served me well because, um, you yeah, know, when I, when I sort of started playing in some of the rock bands and uh, sort of jazz bands from when I was a very young player, 18, 19 years old, um, I was one, you know, there was very few young trombone players, so they're all saxophone players, trumpet players, so that, that, that opened a lot of doors for me for uh, employment, working and playing on bands, you know, getting these new so it was actually a uh, uh, the blessing in disguise that all of a sudden I was on the trombone and we're off. So, uh, it, it really is a great instrument. Now, Roger, just hold the line. I want to come back to you soon. I've got so many questions to ask you. And if you've got questions you'd like to ask, Roger, but five and through 9292 or ZB, ZB. If you're a musician who's played with Roger in the past, feel free to get on the phone too. 0800 80 1080 and have a quick chat. I want to find out more about the Roger Box the Big Band from over the years and where they're heading to. And um, your thoughts and memories too, keep them firing through. There's an email address as well. It's roman at newsforksfb.co.nz. The Roger Box Big Band, 50 years old this year. Tremendous. Back soon. This is in my day. Newsforks FB. Crazy Flex. Finance in New Zealand business. And they'll walk you through the application process with no jargon. Call oh, Fresh Oysters. Crazy Flex. Heart, soul and charm. Beautifully sums up. Excellent. Hey, we got a viewer. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
got dead possums trying to cross. It's roadkill. That sign should be on. At least it's ready. Some blue cod. There's a fresh oysters place. All right. Fifty k's ahead. Drop it back down. Sixty. Coming back into Walkworth. Coming back into Walkworth here. Keith Hay Holmes. He's onto it. And the lights are coming on. The new lights. Hope those welds don't break. And the new lights are coming on. Here comes here's some rain. Rain started. Yep. Here's the beginning of the rain. Gotta go 50 now. Where's the traffic? Well, I haven't seen the traffic yet. Viewers. Band, and that was 
conference around, you know, I've got all these little projects on the go. I mean, at the moment I'm working on a project with King to Pieces. And you know, we're reimagining the old King to Pieces, well, not all, but King of King to Pieces. Is the old wooden and, wheel, uh, toys? Yeah, the tunes and material that will be there. And he's going to perform a bit of that. So he's going to uh, add his part into it. But we've got all we got these little arrangements. So, I mean, it sort of takes research, it takes time, you know, I, I think there's even a lot of uh, artists in that style to get inspiration for arrangements and that type of thing. So, uh, I, yeah, I, yeah I, I've been having a couple of wines and, and going to my favourite restaurant in the Green Parrot. Uh, it, 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 it's usually based around music. I'm going to ask you now, you said the Green Parrot, do you know the Minister of Portland Place? Do you know this? Uh, I wonder how you met him. Hey Carlos. Yeah. Here's the drive back. I'm uh, coming out of coming out of Wellsford here, Walkworth. Yeah, nice. I was looking at a car. Yeah. At uh, Walkworth. All right. So I'm just gonna decided to do some freelance and um, cover the storm. Okay, yep. On the North Shore, get down to Milford, Milford Marina, go around to go out to Tor Bay. Just look at the look at the yachts and the and the moorings. Maybe go into um, maybe go to West Haven, have a look. Who knows? Wiring your bay is your best bet, isn't it? Yeah, oh. Nah, nah. What do you mean, nah, nah? There's no hey. yachts that more there. Uh, Melinda's in the building. Hey? There's no yachts. I, I go where the yachts are moored. What do you want to see? Do you want to see them get all smashed into each other? Yeah, we're looking at moored yachts. I'm looking at your moorings. Are you, gonna, you know, you're just gonna watch them get smashed into each other. Maybe, eh? We'll go out to Birkenhead. Uh, yeah, we'll go to Birkenhead. Well, there's mooring there. Mooring. Uh, there's the other one by the Harbour Bridge. I know how to get into that one. Maybe they closed it, I don't know. But uh, I'll get in. But at least down Birkenhead, the guys go fishing. You know, I know the spots. We definitely got some shit loads of wind and not so much rain yet. It's not quite out of hit us yet, but uh, we're getting some, we're gonna getting, getting get some real wind here. We're gonna get some wind, all right. Yeah, I gotta change, do you wanna go live again? I'll have to change to, um, Dash cam Danny. Change the thing, dash cam Danny. I'm driving around. There's some down stuff. It's already done, cleared away. Coned. Nothing new, no traffic yet. Coming up to the tunnels. down stuff, no cones. Slips. Just so beware of slips when going north. People, uh, you know, and the signs blowing over. The uh, They need to put more sandbags. Guys on the roads need to put more sandbags under the signs to for the speed limit because they just blow over. 
So the roading guys got to make sure that the uh, those that are really knuckled down is turning off into uh, Maharangi Regional Park. That'd be a good idea to go into Ma Maharangi Regional Park. Be pretty chill there. Here's some d down trees that they've already cut down. That's real good, that's all sorted. So I took a hitchhiker, picked them up here actually, round about here. Picked up a hitchhiker. And uh, he wanted to go back to Wangarei. Wanted to go home, his name was Max. He's a fellow sufferer of uh, mental health, so yeah. Suffers from a bit of anxiety, he was a bit nervous. He wants to get back to his dogs. Dr. Van Wellsford, Young Max. Rematch. Carlos. Fifty. Is that Mercedes again? Here's where the slips are coming through here. We've got some slips. Hey, no discipline. We're up to you in Auckland. Can it here? Go eighty now. Tailed by a nice Mercedes. So it's all clear. Go north. Running smoothly. Hey, Trillin, you in Auckland? Want keen to tea up? Keen to go for something to eat? Fucking keen on the ass. On the uh, northbound tunnel is got one lane. That's uh, prone. Jay, we up to. You. The southbound tunnel is Fuck both boy. lanes open.
Fluffy. Thank you, Fluffy. You're an Fluffy. Clear. Now we can go 100. Tire on the road. No traffic. Nothing. A walk with southbound. Six o'clock. Nothing. No tail. Thanks, Danny. Keep it going. Huh? Yeah. Some need to. Yeah. Keep this rolling. One lazy rose, Linda. One lazy rose. Gave my Australian cousin bro. Oh, he's a Kiwi, but he's a bit an Aussie. Uh, a ride up to Wangaparoa earlier today to get his uh, his nice Mazda six. It's a sick car. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, Extina. Tiahu, where are you in Auckland? Tiahu, can you tee up? Go for some dinner, for some deeds. Heading toward Oriwa. There's that big bridge, Hillcrest Road. Past Millwater, sort of Millwater area. No, I'm going 110. Drop it back. No traffic. There's a police coming up. Police coming north. Undercover. Oh no, orange one. Cameras, toll cameras. Let's go have a look at Oriwa on the way past. There's a house being built. Shit! I've got to look at that house. Fuck, the frames look fucked. Build framing, no, no exterior lining. There's a drama. These guys aren't good. Frame looks good.
getting drunk from Meccas. And I find that fr that fuck frame, and I could see it, it was dry as a bone. Fucking just left it, just fucking. The, the timber gets brittle. It's a reframe. I wonder where it is. Try down Sydney Creek. No, 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 not there. That was fucked. Okay, this house. Squeaky brakes. Haven't been using them. Sydney Grant Crescent. Oh yeah. What was that? That's another one. Sydney Grant. Like your last, bro. It's just like white framing. It's a nice neighborhood now. Really nice. Here's a one for sale. Here's a van. What's that one? Toyota. I don't know what it is. How do I get to the Bayview Park Lane? How do I get to it? Get to it. Let's have another look at it. How do you get to that? Auckland's keen to tee up or keen to take a trip, you know, any trips? Keen to take a trip. It's a house that was fucked. Oh, it's an egg bear. Somebody lost a shoe. See it. Let's get down to the beach, see look at the beach, I guess. I'm in more of an industrial area up here. What's going on? I thought Ori was plenty of work. Mean. ICB. More development. The Ara Hills, Oriwa. Finish the fucking Coronation Street side of it. What are we doing? Some houses. Oh, this is nice. Sick. Profiles are up. Yeah, Kiwi Girls. Still for sale. Ray White. Dog tips on the screen. Anybody in Auckland who can go and get something to eat before the storm gets here? Just letting you know that if anybody's in Wellsford, there's a drop in centre. Civil Defence drop in centre in Wellsford by Woody's Winners Dairy near there. You're in, you're in Auckland. Yeah, in Auckland. I'm in Oriwa. There's a house under construction. 
Any of you? Anyone in Auckland? In Auckland? No one in Auckland? Anybody in Auckland came to? Did anyone come to this right here? I'm doing dash cam, Danny. Anybody in Auckland? Came to Covering the storm this weekend. Sold the land, sold. Three sold. We got sold. Madison Park Homes. Yeah. Plenty of land here, man. You're, you're too. Look at this. You can park up here, you know, with your caravan. You can safe as here. Look at this. You can stay here with your van. Chill as. This is a safe place to go. Yeah, safe as. Nice and dark. Maybe the street lights come on. Come back. Chill as here. Nothing's happening. For ages. Fucking no worries. Just the dog walker. Oh, yes, a young fella. Coming up, a walker. Hey, dog walker. This street's chill as. Uh, Aqua Marine Avenue. Uh, Kukarangi Drive. Cool. Kukarangi Drive. Nice, brother. Oh, do it, do it, do, do a route Thanks, Danny. I got you off. We're coming through Tauhuni Ave. Oh, no. It's under construction. Dog walker. Is this is a good place to chill. Kauru Lane. Even the lights are working. Nice, nice. Ray White's for sale. All for sale land, man. Land. You can park up your vehicles here. You want, you want if you're homeless, you know, and you're, you're, you're living in your car, just come up here. Back on ZB. Yeah, brilliant. It's the great man, Harry Connick Jr. A great actor, a great singer. Look at this. Well, if you want to go downhill, if you want to go down, look at this. How you doing? We're looking at, uh, look at it, real estate. Helkin Bay Lane in Oriwa. You get your bloody get privacy here at the moment if you're in the van. Safe as. Whoops. No problem. You can park up here and, you know, put your caravan in that spot there. All good. Safe as. Safe spots. What you want to do is park under a street light for safety. Chariots of Fire. Yes, I'll put that on the list. I haven't thought about um, the song so much until now, but I will because something that else, something else that distracted me greatly was the death of the great um, Bert Bacharach, who was the lyricist and well, the composer, he had a lyricist, behind some of our biggest pop songs of all time. And when I say some of them, we're talking 500. 500 absolute smackaroony, top of the charts, you know, whiz bang songs. And he wrote them for everyone. And even current musicians who are currently doing good stuff, they were singing his praises quite literally as well, today and yesterday as well. He died of natural causes at his home in LA with his family by his side. And his songs, many written in a 16 year collaboration with the great lyricist Hal David, were described this as came from rock nor pop. They were just Kikarangi Drive, Kikarangi Drive. 
And uh, in another little spot, want to go up the top of the hill. Ara Awa Waru Ev. Awa Awa Waru. Awa Waru. Ara Awa Waru. Awa Waru. Awa Waru. Nice quiet spot. Good spot. Good spots here. and David, they frequently displayed a magic touch in the writing of lots of their songs, but a particular walk on by, and I say a little prayer, another one, in between the heartaches, and do you know the way to San Jose and Bacharach's Alfie for the Michael Caine movie of the same name was a hit for Scylla Black, and Tom Jones sang his title tune for Woody Allen's What's New Pussycat so many, see what I mean, he he was in everything, he was in the movies, he was in the voice boxes of our best performers in that time. And I'm really keen to hear your memories of Bert Bacharach and all the music that he was involved with. Arthur's theme is a song I will be playing before the show runs out of juice. It's a great song by Christopher Cross and others as well. But if you do have a, a favourite from Mr. Bacharach and David Hall as lyricist, let me know. The best way to do that is to get involved on the phone. It's free, why wouldn't you? Nothing's free these days. Even a free lunch comes at a cost. You've got to get to the free lunch, but this is different. You just sit there, do nothing and pick up the phone. 0800 80 1080. He was still working, as I will be, paying off my mortgage. He was still working at the age of 92. How many people can say that? Well, only the ones that uh, would want to. You wouldn't imagine he'd have to, right? With all those number one hits, all those wonderful songs, you'd think he would have had his millions and billions. It's not about the money. Well, sometimes it is. I've done some calculations. I'll, I'll have paid off my mortgage by the time I'm 107, I think it was. This is in my day. The number's 0800 80 10 80. I'm looking forward to hearing your stories. Take care, New Zealand. The storms are coming. The English SBR is Jaguar's ultimate performance SUV, delivering greater performance, agility, and dynamism than ever before. And there's never been a better time to own one. Pay one third now, one third in 2024, and one third in 2025, all with zero percent interest. Book a test drive today. Normal lending criteria, T's and fees apply, including an establishment fee of one hundred and thirty-six dollars and a PBSR fee of seven dollars thirty-nine. Full details at Jaguar.co.nz. Restoring the roof on your house. For coal fire guys, know you want it done once, done right, and once they're finished, you don't want to see them again. That's why coal fire gives a 12 year warranty, so you won't have to see them again for a long, long time. It all comes from doing a good job with quality materials at a fair price and standing by their work. Not actually standing by it, you actually want them to leave. Visit Good on you, Bob. A loo. Scenic Hotel Group, a place to stay for the Messier yep. Station. From the legacy election for the By the cameras. The Heartland Hotels. No, the camera, you can see the cameras from here. Find your place to stay at Scenic Hotel Group. Good spot. Hurry, Good spot. The Heartland Furniture Clearance is on at Dance Gamova. Enjoy huge end of season markdowns on all display settings. Wood, Woven Wicker, Aluminium. Nice development. I hate how they fence it like that. You can't. Oh, it's a motorway. They block in the sound. Just, you can't see. It's course. I guess that's the point they want you to see. Some people. There's some cars here already. There's some people home. Not many residents. You know. There's a camper. Self-contained.
an alpha is the news it's seven o'clock. Good evening. I'm Joe Gilfillan. As Cyclone Gabriel swirls its way toward the North Island, very large swells are forecast along the coast on Tuesday. On the Monaco, swells of five and a half meters are expected. On the Hariki Gulf, swells rising to five meters are forecast north of Fongaparoa Peninsula early on Tuesday, and then easing to three and a half meters later. For Breamhead to Cape Colder on Tuesday, easterly swells of six meters are likely. Auckland's Deputy Mayor Desley Simpson is urging people to have their emergency plans and supplies in place before tomorrow. Only buy what you need for the next few days. Think about your family members, friends, pets and belongings and prepare to leave if you need to. In the tiny Northland town of Mungamooka, extreme weather has already isolated its people and the incoming cyclone threatens to make it worse. It was July 2020 when heavy rain saw slips wash away State Highway 1 where it crossed the Mungamooka Range south of Kaitaia. It took a year and $14 million to open the road and just over a year later the rains came again and the repair work slid down the hill. The 500 or so people in and around Mungamooka live on New Zealand's main road, but it's a road to nowhere. Now with Cyclone Gabriel bearing down, they're racing to be further isolated. When it rains, floods south of Mungamooka usually close the town's only road out. Rescuers continue to pull survivors from the rubble five days after the Turkey and Syria earthquakes. The death toll keeps rising. More than 23,000 people have died so far. Officials believe the toll could rise even higher. Al Jazeera's Nastasia Tay says there have been some signs of hope. A 10-day-old baby was rescued after 90 hours, buried in the remains of a house, and a 15-year-old girl trapped under the rubble for 99 hours was saved with emergency teams playing her favorite song. A mysterious object seen at high altitude over Alaska has been shot down by a United States fighter jet. The White House says President Biden ordered the action, which brought the object down in United States territorial waters. It's not known where the object came from or who owned it, but the United States is down in United States territorial waters. It's not known where the object came from or who owned it, but the United States expects to recover it. It was about the size of a small car. The minimum wage increase is expected to cause more headaches for retailers. Retail NZ says a snap poll of its members found 88% are opposed to April's $1.50 increase, which will bring the hourly minimum rate to $22.70. Chief Executive Greg Harford says members are warning their businesses will be hurt. 69% of our members are telling us they're going to increase prices. 57% say they'll reduce the hours of work available to their team. And 41% are planning to reduce Foodies and wine lovers are enjoying Marlborough's first wine and food festival in two years. More than 5,000 people are expected through the gates by the end of the weekend at the longest running event of its kind in New Zealand. COVID restrictions forced Marlborough's wine and food festival to be cancelled over the past two years. Chair Tracy Johnston says it's great to finally be back. It's just so exciting to be able to return the festival to its rightful place on the festival calendar in the second weekend of February. News Talk ZB Sport, a thrilling victory for the Canterbury Magicians as they sealed the women's T20 cricket crown, beating the Wellington Blaze by 12 runs in Christchurch. The Magicians smothered the Blazers' run chase for 146 in the final at Hagley Oval in the last Super Smash match for veteran all-rounder and Canterbury captain Amy Sapthwaite. Typically, Sapthwaite is crediting her team. Oh, every bowler did their job outstandingly. We've got Abigail Potton who's... I think wasn't even born when I started playing for Canterbury, which is a little bit scary, but she looked I think wasn't even born when I started playing for Canterbury, which is a little bit scary, but she looked so proud and composed today and everyone just did their job, which I think some just came up and it, it was outstanding. The 36-year-old former Whiteburn took two wickets with the ball but had a duck with the bat. The men's T20 final is underway. The Canterbury Kings won the toss and chose to bat against the Northern Brave, the Kings 33 for two after five overs. She'll be right, is the message from former All Blacks coach Sir Steve Hansen of the post-World Cup exodus of players. Bowden Barrett, Aaron Smith will join Sir Steve at the Japanese club Toyota at the end of the year. The likes of Brody Ritalik and Richie Mong are also moving on. Sir Steve says New Zealand rugby's depth will cover any gaps. Of course, I'm the national club at the end. I've got to find another one. 
as I always do. So, yeah, you know they're going to leave, but, but it's the cycle, and you just got to keep pushing, going you through. The Māori All-Stars lead the Indigenous All-Stars in their men's pre-season rugby league clash in Rotorua, 12-10 early in the second half, moments ago. And now the Indigenous All-Stars pre-season rugby league clash in Rotorua, 12-10 early in the second half, moments ago. And now the Indigenous All-Stars... Ravan Travers is back next with more in my day. News Talk ZB Weather Watch 24 7. Cyclone Gabriel's bringing heavy rain and severe gale force winds to northern New Zealand from tonight for the next few days. The North Island from Waitomo, Taihape, and Hawke's Bay northwards. Isolated showers, rain, sometimes heavy, developing in Northland and North Auckland tonight and spreading south tomorrow. East to southeast gales developing tomorrow. Light it up, fine tonight. Cloudy periods with scattered showers tomorrow. Taranaki to Wellington, also Nelson and Marlborough. Partly cloudy, isolated showers along the eastern ranges of Wellington, Nelson and Marlborough this evening and tomorrow afternoon and evening. Canterbury and Otago, cloudy periods, isolated showers this evening and tomorrow afternoon and evening. Buller, Westland, Fiordland and Southland, mostly fine. Isolated showers along the ranges this evening and tomorrow afternoon and evening. Isolated showers for inland Southland tomorrow afternoon and evening. Chatham Islands, fine tonight, cloudy tomorrow. I'm Joe Gilfillan. That's News Talk ZB News, Sport and Weather to 7 past 7. Good times, great memories. In my day with Roman Travers. News Talk ZB. Welcome back. It's lovely to have your company. This is In My Day with me, Roman Travers, with you through till midnight every single Saturday, 6 till 12. And when you go, oh, I love that, oh, I remember that, oh, the memories. That's when you pick up the phone and call 0800 80 1080. It is fun and frivolity, but kid you not, I will keep you informed here of what's happening with the weather patterns. With the far north and Auckland, Coromandel, it's everywhere really, isn't it? Down to Wellington, big swells on the wider upper coast. Joe Gilfillan will pop in the, at the bottom of the hour and just keep us um, up to date with what we need to know. I think it's really important, don't you? Oh, as if we haven't had enough. I'm looking forward to having your conversation with me on 0800 80 1080. As we remember the great movie director from Chariots of Fire, Hugh Hudson. And I don't want to say more importantly, but I would say that it's probably fair to say that Bert Bacharach would have touched the lives of many, many more people just through the songs and through the musicians that sung his songs. What an amazing relationship. It's a bit like Elton John and his bloke who does all that stuff for him too. You know, Bert Bacharach had the great lyricist Hal David writing all the lyrics and he said he could hear them straight away as soon as he heard the tune but up he think of the words i find that incredible i can't even remember my, my name half the time you can text 9292 or zb zb with a small charge the email address is roman at newstalkzb.co.nz and the best of in my day is findable on the facebook page roman travis on news talk zb a 16-year collaboration between Hal David and the great composer Bert Bacharach dying late this week is just, um, you know, wow. Good life, though. Good life. I'd imagine you'd agree with that as well. His collaboration, The Long To Be Close To You, was a worldwide hit for The Carpenters in 1970. I've got that one coming up a bit later on. What the world need, needs now is love. See, I didn't realise... When I hear someone like Helen Reddy or the Carpenters or whatever, whoever the singer is, I always make the presumption that they're talented enough to have composed the song. Not always the way. There are people at the moment who have great songs being written by other people. It's not just an old-fashioned type of thing, is it? It's still being done now. Those great tracks were...
life hacks and do you know the way to San Jose and so many others as well. Um, this track, Baby It's You, was recorded by the Beatles, Elvis Costello. It's uh, coming through this stretch of, of uh, coming out of the tunnels when you get to the motorway, you know, you, if you want to go 100, don't. Sitting with the, with the wind, you want to sit at 90. And, uh, you know, sit at 90 is comfortable. 80. This is this. Um, this car's doing 80. You don't want to go up. Too windy. Too windy through here. So, uh, way too windy. And all the way, all the way, go just, just go 90 down this motorway this weekend. Take it real easy. Just cruise. Relax. You know, beware of the wind. You know, you'll get blown off the road if you're not careful. So we're back up to Roman. 9292 is the text. G'day, Ron. Yeah. Oh, hiya. Yeah, um, no, about 64 now. It's back in the, um, back in the early days, it was my careful being subliminally educated by a lot of their stuff. And it's because of composers like that that uh, I never seem to get around to composing music myself because these composers were famous for a reason. They're actually brilliant. And then one day, um, uh, oh, my favorite song would probably be The Book of Love. I love all this Latin stuff, especially. I like playing Latin jazz on the piano. But then one day, I went to the, um, I was invited to a rock, uh, was it Rogers Tox? Yeah. The band mm -hmm. concert. I was so mid to late 80s in the Auckland Town Hall. And I was, I was a little bit skeptic on the way. I hadn't heard much. I thought, oh, more than most stuff. But I was, I'd been getting into my jazz and, and listening to it. And they were so brilliant. And they were so sharp. I don't mean pitchy sharp. I mean precise. It was absolutely brilliant. And uh, including, especially, especially a bit of piano solo. I think the pianist did a bit of stride. It was just absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Good memories, eh? Good memories. And you said the only oh, reason you didn't the only reason you didn't compose anything yourself is because you didn't need to? There were so many good composers like that. I end up I end up finding a piece of sheet music and you know developing it into improvisation and stuff. And uh, you know, they they made they, they guys um, put together such good um, melodies and harmonies. You know, they, they were famous, they were good for a reason. They were famous for a reason. They're just brilliant composers. They were tuned into the rest of human society in just the right way. Mm. And of course, um, even the people who say they don't like jazz, as soon as you start playing some Latin, they all love it. Yeah, the thing is, as you would know, Ron, jazz is not just, you know, it's like saying, I don't like cars. And you go, what do you mean by that? Well, I don't like cars. I've had a, I've had a Suzuki Swift all my life. Well, you know, you, that might put you off, but there's cars and there's cars. It's like jazz, isn't it? There's jazz and then there's jazz. And oh, well, I'm a big fan of some jazz. Other jazz, it's like you guys have all lost the plot. You're all playing different songs in the same room. And then all of a sudden they come back together again. Then you go, oh, there's the talent. I know what you mean. Um, G'day, Roman, is Hal David still with us? It says Al from Roma D Beach. Well, no, sadly not. He was born in 1921. This is the lyricist, of course, that worked with Bert Bacharach. He was the American lyricist, famous for all sorts of reasons, but mainly because of that talent he had. He grew up in New York City, but he died in 2012. Yeah, pretty sad. Both gone now, but the music will live on, and that's what I love, and we'll get to some of that very soon as well. And you, Murray, and Anna as well, too. Yeah, pretty sad. Both gone now, but the music will live on, and that's what I love, and we'll get to some of that very soon as well. And you, Murray, and Anna as well, too. Including you both, which is kind of like a group. But, um, all right, that's enough. Oh, by the way, if you were someone that learnt an instrument, why did you pick up the piano? Well, that would be pretty impossible depending on the size of it but why the size of it but why did you pick up the flute or the violin or the drums or the triangle what was it that inspired you to get into the music that you play and were you taught by the nuns 
the nuns that taught the people back in the day were very, very talented. My mother was taught by the nuns. She loved all the nuns except for the one that taught her the piano. But that's another story for another day. Quarter past seven. News Talk ZV. Trending podcasts. Cooking the books. Your home for figuring out all things money to help you understand what you actually need to know. Streaming now on iHeartRadio. Replacing the broken or damaged dishwasher. Or just updating one that isn't doing a great job anymore. You might as well do it properly and replace it with a Bosch. At Magnus Burner this week, we've got the Bosch Series 6 freestanding dishwasher for just $1,749. A beautifully engineered machine that you'll just love using every day. We know you've had a rough summer in autumn. So if you're replacing any appliances due to flood damage, we'll always do your great deal. Magnus Burner, 100% autumn. From the writer and director of Knives Out comes a killer new series. I think there's been a murder. Starring Natasha Leone from Orange is the New Black and a huge supporting cast of famous faces. I'm trying to figure out what happened. Look out! You're going to find Charlie and you're going to bring it to me. I know what you did, you psycho. The brand new comedy drama, Poker Face, streaming now on TV and Z Plus. Have you heard about Panasonic heat pumps with the NanoX air purification? They're not only heat and cold, they also actively fight viruses, mold, and odors. How does it do that? NanoX idles are generated from the heat pump, which seeks out and deactivates all kinds of viruses, mold, and odors in the air and on surfaces. But they're still great heat pumps, right? Absolutely. Panasonic air conditioning, the only heat pumps with NanoX. Visit nanox.co.nz for details. Every weekend, midday till 3, the big names in sport are on Youth Talk ZB's Weekend Sport with GJ Garden Homes. The team at GJ Garden Homes built more homes for New Zealanders than any other builder and are great supporters of sport. Whether it's on the international stage or at the grassroots, Weekend Sport brings you all the big stories. Weekend Sport, this Saturday and Sunday from midday with GJ Garden Homes, New Zealand's most trusted home builder. Only on Youth Talk ZB. Remember it in my day with Roman Travis. News Talk ZB. 17 past 7. Quite incredible when you read about Virgil Bacharach, the people that he composed for and with just about everyone. 500 hit songs. Just so many people and people these days who wish they had been able to work with them too. You might have heard some of those famous musicians talking about that. G'day from that, our Linda Rockstad does a great version of Anyone Who Had a Heart, says Simon. Thank you, Simon. Hey, G'day from that. Was he in one of the Austin Powers movies? Yes, he was. I'll get some more information about that soon, but yes, he will be a very good recall there. Hi, Roman. I saw Burt Bacharach in concert at the Victor Arena in Auckland, November 2015. He was really a singer, although he did croon through some of the songs. But he played the piano and conducted his band through many of his famous hits. It was a great show, says Ian from Auckland. Uh, good on you. That's very nice, Ian. I'm glad you got to see him. I never, I didn't really know much about him until recently, which is very, very sad. And Murray, you love the Roger Fox Big Bang? Yes, I do. And I've been in Freeman. Um, the type of music that they play is sort of get off your seat and you want to dance with the start music. Yeah. It's really, really good. Now, he played the crooner just before the news, and he... Yeah, Oriwa. You got it. Oriwa. I'm just going to see what the beach looks like. Ahead of the storm. The front's coming through. Where's the beach? we got to get to the beach. Sucks. You want to look at it with, from the car, you know? Let's turn left here. Marine view. Oh, here we go. Here's the swells. Here's the swells. I'm going to log out here. Dirty guy there on the beach. Blocky. Yeah. 
hitting the bloody road. We don't want Sign HQ in the way. Blabbering on about Burb Baccarat. So I'm going to log out here. Let's get out and get out into the weather. End it, end it at the Odiwa Beach. Get the real sounds. No, I don't live in Odiwa, mate. I was just on my way back. Here we go, here's the front. Take the hat off. That's no good to us. 